Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Thanks for subscribing and liking my videos. Today we are going to create Levino logo animation, he is one of the best player in PUBG Mobile, that I have ever seen, I will post his channel's link in the description, make sure to check out his gameplay and give him a subscribe. You can download the project file and play with the settings. Let's start the tutorial. Open After Effects. I have made a composition 1920 by 1080 p, 4 second long. Let's analyze the logo animation first. First his name appear. And then a dot move from the letter, O to N, and logo start revealing. First type the name, this is Morris Sans regular font, you can download it from the link in the description. Adjust the font size and spacing. Let's convert this font into shape layer, right click on the font, choose create, create shapes from text. Delete the original font. If you open the shape layer's contents, you can see every letter have its individual group, we need to separate them into own layer. I am using a script for this, Z, I explode shape layers. Let's rename every layer. And set the order like this. Cool. Now we need to move the anchor point to the bottom left corner, select pen behind tool and move the anchor point. I am using a script called Motion 2. So I will simply click on this little bottom left button, and it's set everything for me. Cool. Let's adjust the font spacing according to Levino's logo. Change the font color temporary, and lower the opacity so we can see through this. Let's set the color and opacity back to its original. Open the rotation properties and set a keyframe at the start. Go 15 frames forward and set another keyframe. Set the first keyframe value to 90%. It look like this. Now add a bounce expression to the rotation keyframe, alt and left mouse click on the rotation keyframe, and paste the expression. 
you don't need to write this, I will paste this expression in the comment section. Cool, now copy this keyframe and paste to the other layers. Turn on motion blur for all shape layers. Let's offset the layers. Stretch the layers at the start of animation so the letters will remain appear from the start. I have already traced the logo inside of After Effects. Let's copy these layers. Let's color code the layers so we can understand our layer structure, and paste into the main composition. Let's hide the logo layers for now, we will come back to this later. Let's make this dot animation, first check how it's moving. Make some guidelines, so we will animate our dot according to these guidelines. Let's make a small circle. Adjust its position. Set a keyframe for the position. Move forward in timeline and move the dot to the second position. And now set its final position. Remove the guidelines, we don't need these anymore. Select Bend tool and adjust the path curves. At this point I will add keyframe for scale. Now select position keyframes and easy ease them, open graph editor and adjust something like this. So it starts fast and end faster. For the middle keyframe, double click on this and click on continuous.
at the final position also add keyframe for scale so can disappear the dot. Let's change the dot color now. We need to adjust the dot position a bit. Now unhide the logo's layers. And set its position. Let's see how this animates. It appears layer by layer with the help of rotation and scale. Move all logos layers to this position. Select the layer number 4, and add keyframes for rotation and scale. Go 10 frame forward and shift the keyframes here. At the start of the layer, set rotation to 85%, and scale to 0%. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Open graph editor and adjust something like this, so it start faster and end slower. Cool. Offset the rotation keyframe by one frame. Copy these keyframes and paste on the other layers of the logo. Offset the layers. Let's remove this hang time for the dot. In graph editor just move the center keyframe up so it will never stop at any position.
let's lower the logo animation by stretch the keyframes. Let's make a background for this. Let's add shadow to the layers. Apply drop shadow and set the opacity to 100% and softness to 2%. Copy this effect and apply to the other layers. We need to fix the shadow on the logo layers. Set the direction to 90%. Check the animation. And we are done. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you like please hit the like button and consider subscribe. So I can continue making videos like this. Until next time have fun and keep growing. This is Motion Studio, and I will see you in the next video.